Warning, this show contains lots of vulgarity, questionable content, and the angry jackalope might just be a crazy motherfucker. You've been warned. What's up YouTube, angry jackalope, Rob Ricks. So, I wanna talk with you guys a little bit about, uh, for, for users, well shit, I think most people nowadays have computers. Um, what I want to talk with you guys about is uh, recently I had a situation where my machine took a tremendous crap on me and was out of out of operation for the better part of two days while I tried to rebuild it and deal with things like malware, etc. That was a painful, horrible event. So one of the things that made everything easier for me though was when I rebuilt the machine I had all of my data backed up on different hard drives and things of that nature now this isn't a video about strategies on how to maintain your data um, on multiple hard drives or anything else but what this is a video about it is a video about this so what do I, what do you see here you see Iron Man's head right okay but flip it over pop it out this is a little USB drive uh, why am I doing a video about USB drives? Well, USB drives are probably one peripheral that a lot of people overlook. This thing is worth its weight in gold. And I'll tell you the reason why. These things can have a tremendous amount of storage on it. In fact, this one right here has 32 gigs of space on it, on a little Iron Man head. I've also got like a little Iron Man hand that lights up when you plug it in. Uh, and that one has 64 uh, gigs on it. 64 gigs, 32 gigs respectively is enough storage space for you to store all of your important family pictures, for you to store important documents. Hell, you could even put quite a few videos on there, okay? My point is this is what you wanna back a lot of your most important stuff up on. Why? No moving parts, first and foremost. Uh, USB drive is basically just a solid state memory chip. It's a chip. I've seen thumb drives that have been put in water, frozen in a freezer, left for a few months, thawed out, dried out, and plugged in works like a champ. I have also seen, seen some thumb drives that are a little bit higher up on the uh, indestructible range uh, for super mission critical stuff that have uh, biometrics required a thumbprint to access what was on it or a fingerprint and also was heat resistant to a certain temperature uh, impact resistant some that were being rolled over by cars uh, quite a few of them rolled over by cars I've had quite a few of these that have gone through the wash cycle and the dryer cycle and came out unscathed they go in they get washed thrown in a dryer extreme heat there my wife's going through the, the laundry folding stuff up and goes, babe, is this one of your drives? And I look and I'm like, holy hell, yeah, that's one of them. And I take it and I plug it in, still working. So in summary, these are important, guys. If you have anything where your wife is, is going to freak out, your mom's going to freak out, you're going to freak out uh, if you lose it, whether it be family photos whether it be, you know, some very special photos of the girlfriend or, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, uh, you might want to throw it on a thumb drive. And uh, the other thing is you can even get some software and you can encrypt your thumb drive so all the information that's on there isn't available to anybody who does not have the proper software to decrypt it or the password. So that is yet another layer of protection for your uber, uber, uber important documents. So I am a huge proponent and a fan of USB thumb drives. The, the downside is writing big files to these things is an exercise in patience. It takes forever to write lots of files to it. The good news is once a file is written to it, it's relatively quick to get access to the file or even a copy of the file off so anyway uh if you cash strapped and you can't afford a bunch of the uh you know terabyte drives um you know just grab a few of these a couple of these and just back up the most important stuff that you work with this has saved my bacon 
more times than I could count. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was actually uh, something that was worthwhile mentioning because I know a lot of folks are, uh, you know, a lot of people that I deal with when their computers take a crap on them, they lose their data, they lose quite a few very personal files and they're heartbroken. So maybe this will spare you some heartache. All right, guys, that's it for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell your friends for a while. Until next time, please be good to each other and good to yourself. And until next time, that's right, I did it this way. This way. <laughs>